This video is designed to show you the PhotoPeach Constellation Project from Science. The first step is to go on PhotoPeach.com. After that, you're going to click where it says Login. The username is going to be Citronia5, so you'll type that in. And the password will be Citronia5 as well. And this is for every student. You'll click Login. Now, if you've started creating your project and you're coming back to this, you would click on My Shows and you would find your specific project. However, since there's not any projects here, or if you're just starting the project, you want to go to where it says Upload Photos. And then once you've saved all of your photos to your computer, you can see that I have all my photos right here, and I have them labeled. and the reason why I did this is so this keeps me in order so when I go to upload them I know which one I want first, second, third and so on. So I did get these pictures off of the internet and what I will do is just click on my pictures here. Now if I, control, if I hold the control button as I click them I can upload them all at once. You can see they're going to upload right here. Now once they've uploaded you'll go to this upload and arrange your images page now what you can do is you can for example let's say we don't want this picture or sometimes you you'll see that some pictures download more than once you can just simply left click it and drag it over to the deleted items and it will eventually delete if you don't want it in the deleted items you can just go back and drag it back on over to the photos section now most of the time when you download your photos or upload them to PhotoPeach, they will not be in the order that you want them for your project. So you can rearrange these photos simply by left clicking. For example, I want this picture of Leo as my very first slide, so I'm going to drag it over. You can see sometimes it works and sometimes it does not. Sometimes you just have to switch the picture you're dragging. And I want this picture of Hercules as my second picture. You can see you just have to kind of play with it a little bit. And now I have my first two pictures where I want them to be. Now I want my location picture as my third slide. There we go. And now my final two pictures are where they, I want them to be. After I've done this, what I will do now is just click on the next button. My slide show title, what I'm going to do is title this Leo Constellation by and then you'll put your name. I'm just going to put by Mr. Mangan. We're not going to do anything with the with the description just yet. We'll get to that. Now another part of your assignment is to select background music. You do not want to do anything where it says search YouTube. We're not going to do that or even upload music. However, you can do background music from the random instrument or classical or classic section. Anytime you click on a music type you'll be able to hear it right away and we want to pick something that goes along with your photo peach project. So I'm just going to click classic and then I'll hear a couple of these songs. Now I click the type of music that I like. does not have to be yours or anything like that. Now after I do this I'm going to click on the finish button but that does not mean we're finished. Now this will take you to a screen that looks like your photo peach project is completely finished and you can't do anything with it but that's not the case. Our next step is we're going to add text to each picture so we're going to go to the edit button and the first thing we want to do before we even add text is we want to go to manage comments. We're going to click on this and we're going to say don't allow comments and then after you do this you're gonna to have to go back to my shows you're gonna to have to find your constel your constellation project so I'm gonna to go to Leo constellation by Mr. Mang and I will click on that it will take me back to the screen now we're gonna to go to the edit button and what we're gonna start doing now is we're going to start adding text to each of the slides so we're gonna to go to edit caption and photos So now it takes me to 
my different slides and we're going to start inputting text for each slide. Now you can do this in the center of your slide. I really prefer the bottom, but if you want to do it in the center, that's completely fine. We're not going to do the quiz option for this. So we'll do the center or the bottom. So for my first slide, we're just going to put a general fact about the constellation. So I'm just going to type in Leo is fairly easy to find because the pointer stars of the Big Dipper point to Leo. So that's just a general fact for my very first slide. So now after I've put in my brief fact about my first slide, Leo, I go to the myth, um, story, legend, and history of the constellation. We cannot expound upon all of the myths and stories. I just want you to be able to read them and just put a brief fact about your constellation. So I will put a myth behind Leo is that it wrestled with Hercules. That's just a very brief fact about um, the myth behind Leo. And I also will put Anne was killed by Hercules for the myth. Now for the location of the constellation, you can just have a picture that goes along with this, and you can just write a really brief fact about what hemisphere you can see the constellation in, or the time of the year you can see this constellation. Now I would just simply type in, Leo is one of the largest constellations in the northern hemisphere. Now after I do that, I will click on my next picture, and this comes to the slide where we are discussing a picture of what the constellation represents within the stars. And I would just simply type in, here is Leo the lion. And after I do that, I will click on my final slide. Now for the final slide, you just want to write any additional information that you found interesting as you did your research on your constellation. So I'm just going to simply type the Egyptians worshipped the stars of Leo. Now once I have all my slides with text on them, now you can see for this one, I'm just going to make this in the center if I were to do that, it would cover up pretty much of the picture, so you can see that that probably won't work, so I'm just going to go to the bottom there and keep it at the bottom. And then after we do this, we can even preview each slide if we want. I'm not going to do that for this video, but I'll just simply click OK. And then you'll be able to watch your photo peach project that you created with the text running across the bottom or the middle of the screen. And that is how you create a photo peach project. Please email me if you have any questions about this project.